So I'm making some hog head cheese, uh, a medium onion. Go ahead and uh, you know peel the skin off, cut it in half, leave the root on, and uh, just make some some slices all the way across it, but not quite to the end. So this lets uh, when you dice it, gives you some pretty good dices. Not real small, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut all that up. And I like doing it that way because then you're left with the the root pretty much stays together you just throw that away and you got your diced onion so I'll go ahead and add that to the pot and I'll go ahead and get your scissors and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just cut in very small rings uh, a half a cup of green onion tops so let me get that done and that's my half a cup go ahead and add that to the pot and I got two tablespoons of uh, fresh parsley this was actually frozen parsley but it's still pretty fresh so we'll add that to the pot this is uh, four pounds of a uh, Boston butt, and I did trim some of the fat off. Uh, one's frozen, one's almost frozen. Don't matter. Add, add that to the pot. This is a pack of uh, pig feet. I was hoping to find the whole ones, but these have been chopped up already. That's fine. Uh, this is about 2.3 pounds, so we'll say two pounds. Add all this to the pot. Some uh, minced garlic. Great value brand, one tablespoon. We'll add that to the pot. And put our fire on a medium high heat. This is uh, four cups of water. Add that to the pot. And this is uh, one tablespoon of our Cajun seasoning. Add that to the pot. And we're going to have to add some more. Probably some salt as well. Uh, with hawkhead cheese, I find when it coos, it, it loses a lot of the salt, it seems like, when it coos. So we'll, we'll be adding some more salt to it at some point. Well, let's go ahead and get this up to temperature and bring it up to a nice, uh, I'd say a high simmer, like almost a boil. And we're going to boil everything until it's tender. And as it cooks, it's been about 30 minutes and I already cooked some of the water out. So uh, that's uh, four more cups of water. And like I said, just let it keep cooking until the meat's tender. Uh, so far, we've been cooking for an hour and... 38 minutes and this is what we currently look like I think I'm gonna let it go to full two hours and uh, just keep adding water as necessary I got my fire almost on all the way high so I'm gonna check one of the pieces of the pork just to see how tender it is currently all right uh, the pork is done I checked the piece everything's tender so now I'll go ahead and remove the uh, the pig feet from it and uh, I'm actually saved this this is really good put it in a mason drawer with some vinegar and uh, you got pickled pig feet so it's a win-win <laughs> so let me get everything separated okay as you can see I got the uh, meat separated and uh, this is the what's left over the gravy uh, while I was cooking this down this was a total of uh, 12 cups of water so I was adding to it as the water would cook down and that's the water I'm left with. Well, that's the gravy I'm left with. So at this point, we're we'll gonna go ahead and ground our pork meat up in a grinder. Let me get that started. So at this point, we'll go ahead and grind it using the coarse blade. And uh, one time, just pass through one time. Uh, so let me get all that done. And at this stage, let's go ahead and add our meat back to our pot. Uh, remove the gravy and set it to the side. Uh, and we'll add that back here shortly. All right, there's the meat. Okay, let's go ahead and add the gravy back to it. Go ahead and put all of it. And also, let's add one more thing to it. This is a fourth of a cup of green onion tops. And forest fit ingredients, that's going to be everything. Uh, go ahead and get this heated up a little bit. And we'll give it a taste and see what we got. I'm going to add a little bit more of the uh, Slap Your Mama seasoning to it. Not a lot. It's, it's actually pretty pretty close to being right. And uh, I'll give it another stir and give it another little taste. It does need to be a little bit more liquidy. So this is a... Uh, 
third of a cup of water. And let me get that all incorporated. I think I'm going to put a little bit more water. I want a little bit more of a, a, a more liquid uh, texture to it. So that's two thirds of a cup of water. And you might have to take several pans to do this. Um, so it's, it's pretty much ready at this point. Uh, like I say, you want it a little bit soupy where you can actually manage it because we want to spread it in some pans and we're going to spread it about an inch thick. And basically just scoop it out and put it in your pan. And let me get that done and I'll spread it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, change of plans here. Uh, I don't have quite enough uh, green onion tops in it. So let me uh, add it back and I'm going to add some more green onion tops. I want a little bit more color in there. It's not quite enough to my liking. So let me get that chopped up here. And this is a fourth of a cup more of the green onion tops. And I'm going to stir that in and, make sure, and then see what it looks like. And I already had this in the past several, I mean a lot, hoggy cheese. And you always got to add a little extra salt at the end. So this is a half of a teaspoon of salt. And I just use regular old plain salt. I don't buy that fancy crap. You know, iodized salt. Go ahead and get this stirred up. We'll give it one more taste and then we'll get ready to pan it. Well, I do like my green onion tops. This is a fourth more of green onion tops. Like I said, now is where you want to adjust everything. The seasoning, the, the pepper, cayenne, whatever you want to put in it. But uh, I do like green onion tops in it. Got to have a lot of them. And like I said, you only got to cook. You mean you ain't got to cook them. It's pretty much when you add them, it's ready to go. Okay, now we got a pretty good amount of green onion tops in there. I can see them pretty good. So let's go ahead and plate it. And we'll call it good. Like I said, you only want to put it about an inch thick in the pan. All right, I got one pan done. Uh, let me go ahead and get another pan, and I'll get that one set up. Okay, so I uh, I did add it back to my pan again. Uh, I didn't quite have enough water in it. Uh, now I do. If you notice, it's a little jiggly when you shake the pot. So, and you basically want to get it back up to almost a boil, uh, which is where I was at just now. So now we'll go ahead and put it back in our bowls, about an inch thick. And just to kind of show what the consistency should look like. So that's how it should look. And like I said, you only want to want to put about an a inch or so in these little dishes. And I, I'm just using what I have, you know, to put it in. Uh, so i got enough for one more. So let me get that done and I'll be done. All right. So uh, I've been having cooling on my uh, kitchen countertop for I guess about 45 minutes uh, now we'll go ahead and put them in the refrigerator uncovered um, until they sit so uh, yeah I'll probably leave them there overnight won't hurt anything uh, so yeah and that'll make them uh, get a nice gel on them then you can cut them up and put them in saran wrap and they'll be good to go so I basically cleared out a shelf in my refrigerator and there they are kind of sitting and like I said I'm gonna leave it until uh, in the morning and they should be done okay so I had it in the refrigerator overnight I did cover it uh, after it cooled pretty good amount in the fridge I covered it in some uh, plastic wrap so as you can see um, this is the, the big pan I had of it and uh, it's non-stick so I'm using my little non-stick thing here so they don't score my pan so you know basically cut it in little little sections and then uh it should uh stay together like i said uh got a nice gel to it that's that's the function of the pig feet to give it a nice gel and uh so yeah you can wrap this in plastic wrap and just uh i mean it won't keep forever and uh i don't know if you can really freeze it that well i think you can uh just don't put it in the fridge too long you know freeze it too long but that's how it looks uh, basically pure meat you know there's no uh nothing in it just gel and meat so the uh so there you go 
that's how you make a hog case cheese and uh, you could definitely have made this spicy uh the uh my family doesn't really like a lot of spice so that's why i didn't do it real spicy but uh so yeah there you go hog head cheese and uh got a very good taste to it that's how it looks once it's bit into like i said it's basically pure meat and mm, 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 that's gonna make a good sandwich for breakfast definitely best way to eat it make a sandwich with some white bread um, I usually put a little mayonnaise on the bread and put a layer of this on there and that's pretty much it well thanks for watching if you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thanks